I'm pretty sure it's Caffeine. <laughs> because after I ate The deadliest I gangster who ever lived. Uh, it felt like I'd eaten some Caffeine. No, they call me Fats Anderson. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finish off that rocket road before the fuzz shows up. <laughs> Can't be covered with all the food that goes through. Eat five cheeseburgers is down payment, see? <laughs> I'm thinking you should fight this guy with a Tommy gun. It's Louis Anderson, well, run! <laughs> yeah, you can either pay back your debts or let me loose in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go and hear that after an item. I'll go through this drive through as many times as I want, see? <laughs> Pay me what you owe you, or I'll sit on you. Nah. Thank God it's the required elevator shaft that doesn't have power in a Resident Evil game. Shut your mouth! <laughs> if you speak Just up like that one more time, I'm gonna slap you with my belly button fat, see? <laughs> That's right, my belly button fat, not just my belly fat. <laughs> Oh, good lord, it's got that cottage cheese stuff on there that fat people get when they don't properly care for their hygiene. Uh, yeah, you seem to have a lot of experience with the fat people in their bodies. <laughs> and the things that grow in them. Yeah, there was a really fat, unpleasant guy who tried to always hang out with their group in college and nobody really liked him. And we tried to get him to uh, leave or lose some damn weight or something to better himself and become and less in the wing, but it never went. with any had cottage cheese in his belly button? He walked around wearing shorts, or uh, I'm sorry, jorts, every single day for like six years, and a t-shirt that said World's Fattest Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and That's did he grow up to watch Nickelodeon cartoons day in and day out? Actually, he lives with his mother and their 14 cats, and I think he was trying to get a job as a bag boy at a local supermarket. How do you try, try to, get to get a, a job? job? <laughs> Don't they just throw those at people? I guess. Whatever. that kind of prestige? There's a long way to list. I have big references for my bagging experiences. If you look at oh, my resume and cover letter, I think you'll job. find well, that me, I'm quite Let me put qualified. it to you this way. Let me put it to you this way. This was a guy who, back when we were in high school, even the teachers made fun of him to his face. <laughs> so now he's got all that rage built up over years. Was his teacher Louis Anderson? <laughs> no, actually, yeah, the listen here, was a fatty. Guy nah. like a white verse on the bill from uh, Fresh Prince. <laughs> That's not porcupine. Teacher, I have a question. Shut up, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give me a shower? I'll commit separate to see. Save your questions for when you're no longer it. hungry. Is he dead? <laughs> yep. <laughs> how, how did you know he was into animals? <laughs> However, could you guess that? And apparently lived in the 1930s. <laughs> no, 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 that's the teacher that lived in the 1930s. <laughs> Did you pick up the crowd, too? Yeah. That's most of the food he eats. It comes from the 1930s. <laughs> the weight well, of it in the pounds is in the 1930s. That's all he can afford. <laughs> I have a terrific story about that for you guys. See, his mom's been divorced for some time now, so it's just him and her living together for years and years and years. Yeah, Obviously, two family. people that are so uh, looked down on like by society... Out. I don't like where this yeah, is going either. Well, they're always at each other's throats, but he's so f fat he can't do anything. She Friends. can't reach his throat because he's so fat. To come over and be like a handyman, right? And apparently his mom says to our other friend that watching him do handyman work really turns her on. What? What? <laughs> is he going to be like Norman Bates? <laughs> I... Did Norman Bates ever have to go outside for any reason? Uh, he had to walk from his house <laughs> to the hotel. Uh, you see, Norman no, Bates no, was capable of... So much effort. But he was cap Norman Bates could, like, leap off a flight of stairs and grab a guy by the throat, and I don't think uh, the world's fattest ninja would be quite capable of that. He could leap off some Fair. stairs and land on a guy and kill him. <laughs> Apparently Skype finds this chat, the the, uh, the story slightly unpleasant, so I'm going to elaborate a little bit more. You see, my friend, uh, uh, my one friend Rob, and then this fat, disgusting blob kid, Sam, uh, he, he needed uh, two bedrooms in his house joined together. One he was using as a computer room, and, you know, the other one, which was his bedroom. And uh, he couldn't fit out his own door, Sam, so uh, they, what they decided to do was to cut a big enough hole in the wall so that... You know, he can just freely go back and forth between the two rooms, right? And while Rob's doing this, Sam's mother comes along and just, she makes a remark about how it really turns her on to watch my, my friend Rob, you know, 
doing handyman work around there. And she's going to find other things for him to fix. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. (laughs) Then he ran out of the house smelling like cat urine and fear. (sighs) And his own urine. Was his mother in the same condition as he was? No, she's actually pretty uh, pretty cool otherwise. Uh, considering her, her own sordid history and having to live with that horrible, horrible son of hers. But, but I mean, is she enormous? No, no. She just furnishes her house entirely with Pier 1 and cats. It must be because he eats oh, all the food. You know, I have lots of eating troughs that they fill with cat litter that they leave in the basement. Feeding troughs filled with cat litter. Yes. Yes. That makes me want to do what Leon's doing right now. That makes me want to go swimming. Like Scrooge McDuck. Only my treasure that makes is me want used to go have cat sexual litter. fantasies. What the? Uh, Skype wants to hear more about this story, but there really is no more because it freaked out my one friend so much he refuses to go back over there. Well, why don't you go visit him sometime? Did he say, no, I'm because not going I, back over I, there, no, see? <laughs> because I'm, I'm moving again tomorrow and it's 100 miles away further so that leaves me 800 miles away from this fat kid's unpleasantness so it's, it's not going to happen I had to go to his house once and it was absolutely horrifying there were like half diseased and half dead cats all over the place just pissing on everything <laughs> it's, it's like stepping into a third world country with people from Oklahoma so, going to Oklahoma. Now, they say there's a pretty girl under every tree in Oklahoma. There just are no trees. Oh, oh, oh. Why would you want to harvest women from the earth, though? They could be wood nymphs. Isn't that why you... Isn't that why you hide underneath the uh, piles of sand and dirt, anyway, with your, your penis all made up with its monocle and top hat and cane and everything to track well, that's Well, com- that's completely unrelated to this. Okay. He's just trying to get a really weird tan, one thing, okay? One thing, I'm not weird enough to hide under trees, alright? Are you saying? Please. Like, you hide under a tree, like, during a lightning storm. I, I, I don't know why Skype has decided isn't to go a, onto this tangent. Isn't that a stupid idea? No, no, you're supposed to grab a piece of aluminum or something and just hold it above your head to, you know, direct one lightning. Of the lightning. One of the lightning strikes the tree and sets it on fire. No, 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 uh, the tree, it, don't worry about the tree, all right? Trees grow back, and lightning's only attracted to aluminum. I'm sure that's something different. You're, aluminum. You're supposed to bury yourself under, stand, under sand and make your penis the highest point in the area? Yeah, that's the only reason I'm still alive today. And then you Let's have think about that. the you know the bar story of being able to call it the lightning rod. <laughs> That's true. Like, hey, baby, I'm gonna pull attention. up the lightning rod, and you'll feel some real electricity. Crap, I forget. How do you get this moving? I oh. give the women a shocker, all right, but not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> I got one point twenty one gigawatts for you. Switch. Hey, baby, want a little juice? <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, did you say Jews? Did you know that they were responsible for calling down Hitler and causing the Holocaust to happen to themselves? <laughs> I heard that on the internet. About this, Chris. If you'd like to hear a bad 1930s Louis, huh? Louis Anderson impression, press 9. The Louis Anderson you're trying to reach is currently at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like to hear him talk in a gangster voice, press 1. If you'd like to hear him talk like the penguin, press 2. If you'd like to hear him speak right, 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 right. yeah, Batman, yeah, singer. <laughs> Wait, I've got a message here from uh, Julie, sexy, spicy girl webcam. And she Ooh. says she's back. Should I respond? Yes, you should. You should say, I'm back also. That clearly means that she wants to have sex with you and only you. Ask her Wait, where she's back from. Ask or, her what now? From where is she back, if you want to be grammatically correct? Listen, son, you need to read the true American Bible. It's called The Game by Neil Strauss. <laughs> she wants she wants me to add her. Um, I'm not sure if I should do this yet. Give me more information. 
Are you ready for that level of commitment or what? <laughs> if you are ready for that level of commitment, press 7. She's from Kansas City, should I trust that? She says, <laughs> I prefer to talk about her. sex on HTTP www.skysexlive.com. It more secure. Skynet Sex Lab? They're <laughs> 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 gonna kill us all. I'm I'm this is her becoming it is. self aware. They want to learn about us and our ways before they kill us. Wait, she's telling me I love talking about sex on Sex Guy Live. You can do it's a lot of this stuff. Well, you she really missed out when this chat on Skype. <laughs> Should I add her to the? Uh... You know, she wait, she really is missing out after this uh, talk about having penises dressed up in little top hats. The jokes are you I'm telling you right because now. I am reading the chat. Intellectual discussions, Drakel. That's yeah. what these are. I think she's really missing her target demographic. <laughs> or really hitting it, I don't know. <laughs> I, told, I told her I drew my penis up in a little top hat. Mention the sand. Ill. There is also sand. Yeah, good. The sand is involved. What's she saying? Wait, if this took down the... Uh, she hasn't responded yet. Fast. Bring up, up some um, of these developments. Fast. You need to bring uh, up uh, Louie Anderson tell in her some you're way. A, tell her you're a big name movie star named Louie Anderson. <laughs> and you have fans all over the world and millions of dollars. Louis Anderson, if possible. Whoa, okay. careful there. Let's see if she responds. Oh, Skype is absolutely right. Don't forget the monocle. <laughs> Does it have a cane? Yeah, the, the monocle was actually small enough that it slipped inside my uranium throat. Well, he only has one eye, so he needs a monocle. <laughs> yeah. If you had sunglasses on it, this looks silly. That's right. We want this she's to be not responding. Care. She's obviously not interested in, you know, that Louis Anderson fortune. Or she's obviously so turned on. We need to bring up the fact that Louis Anderson is the world's fattest ninja. And also a gangster. <laughs> uh, Maybe she's just intimidated from Starstruck. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm declining her offer. It's I right. can snap your neck before you make a breath. <laughs> now do it in a gangster I'll place. kill you four times before you hit the ground. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> oh my. I'll stealthily creep into your room while you sleep and poison you. Hold on, how do I run... I this? surveyed 100 people and they told me how to rape you. <laughs> Apparently, I can access the Ustream chat. The top four answers are on the board. Card. Survey says rope and all. <laughs> hey, okay, Skype I... chat, you can forget it. I already declined her offer. She wasn't responding. If she's not turned on by Louie Anderson, then it's not a woman that I want to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to Wise know words. That... Wise words. Good to know that Dave's generation still has standards. <laughs> If you'd like to watch Louie Anderson fuck a fat chick, press 5. <laughs> <laughs> Pressing 5! It's like watching like Continental Drift. Fuck a fat chick, while also talking about how the Jews brought it upon themselves. Press 6. <laughs> you see, they were running all Come the on, banks. If you'd like to watch Louie Anderson bone a fat chick while he blames black people for his morbid obesity, press 8. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who invented fried chicken. <laughs> you know, I actually had an invented barbecue. I'd look like a god. <laughs> you know, I actually had a homeless woman walk up to me the other day and ask me for spare change so she could buy fried chicken. Did you give was it to it her, Louis Anderson? <laughs> yes, it was. It was. It was Louis Anderson in blackface. <laughs> I'm just a poor black woman, sir. Can you spare some change for fried chicken? I figured if I looked like a black person, I'd get more money, because people think black people are poor! <laughs> I saw it on Family Feud! <laughs> when did they ever have black families on Family Feud? Never, because it was made in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> <laughs> and the versions with Richard and the guy that did or whatever, and Louis Anderson? I wonder if we're still the on the front page of Ustream. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised they haven't banned you guys from Ustream forever at this point. <laughs> well, obviously, they don't monitor content. 
or quality. And I'm actually informed by Blunt the King that uh, there are actually a lot of black people on the new one. So that's uh, that's very interesting. Uh, they're not black people. They're just me and blackface. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as black people. We just do a split screen. They were made up by the Jews before they brought it on themselves. <laughs> I didn't press. I didn't press four. <laughs> looks like a car stereo. So this is Resident Evil Four, right? <laughs> like no, it's like just me in a zombie costume. Man. Now, wait a second. Isn't Resident Evil 4 available for the PC? Yes. So, there should be a Louis Anderson mod being made for it right now. <laughs> yes. Louis Anderson blackface as a ninja. Well, we, we obviously need Terravan here, since he was the one that uh, knows how to do this stuff, obviously. I thought he was in Lifeguard Anderson? School. Well, he's in Lifeguard <laughs> School, but he knew how to make some of these things the other day. Okay. It's a, a random set of, of skills. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture Louis Anderson trying to pull somebody out of the water. <laughs> I have a lot of random folks? skills. Watch me eat these three cheeseburgers stacked on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Grab onto a fat flap while I swim for sure. <laughs> I'll give you CPR. All I have to do is sit on your chest. <laughs> Has anybody ever figured out why he's got that odd space in between his front teeth? I mean, Stop throwing dentists. harpoons into me! I'm trying to rescue a drowning person! So he can do that I thing don't... from the cartoons where he, like, puts a fried chicken leg into his mouth and pulls out just the bone? <laughs> I don't go to the dentist because my time spent there could be better spent eating! <laughs> 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 so wait, you, you can pull out just the bone? Is that sort of like with the diabetes' penis and the sweater thing? You know, it takes the sweater right off. <laughs> it all comes in a circle. <laughs> Until, like, Louis oh, Anderson wow. finds his penis in the sand and thinks it's a hot dog. <laughs> The last time I went to the I dentist, didn't... the doctor ended up without hands. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to give me laughing gas, but I just ate the canister. <laughs> <laughs> that was when they should have shot at it, and he would have exploded. You know, when it's stuck in his jaw. <laughs> they needed a bigger boat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they did that in an old episode of the Carol Burnett Show. <laughs> or Resident Evil 2, I don't remember which one. I think it was Jaws. <laughs> That's an odd set of things to <laughs> mistake. Oh, okay. Shouldn't okay, the Simpsons Wik did that one. Wikipedia here uh, is telling us that uh, apparently Anderson was blackmailed by a 31-year-old man named Richard John Gordon. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember hearing about that. Apparently, Anderson approached him in a casino requesting sex acts in 1993. So Anderson initially paid Gordon $100,000 in hush money, and uh, fearing the story would threaten his starring roles in two family-oriented series. Now, let's be fair here. When Louis what Anderson... Series? I'll give you $10,000 for a blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want sexual acts from me, sir? That's disgusting. By sexual acts, I mean feed me a bacon, beef, and cheddar. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, I'm on Nickelodeon tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, didn't he host the Kids' Choice Awards or something? Or was it what a Rosie O'Donnell? Idea for us. <laughs> no, that was Welcome Rosie O'Donnell. Welcome to Adonis. the Kids' Choice Awards. I think they're the same person. The Kids' Choice is to be eaten by Louis Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Anderson should sumo wrestle Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> for the hearts and minds of America. No one would win that fight. <laughs> and they pour the slime on the kids. He thinks that's like uh, horseradish sauce. It's relish! <laughs> um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I relish the opportunity! <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're kind of like starting to drift into Dave uh, Chappelle's Black Gallagher territory now, so you're going to have to bring it back to Louis Anderson. <laughs> I'll try to. It's really difficult. 